Hey, good evening. It's Wednesday night because I'm prepping early for you for thir your Thursday video. I'll be cooking Thanksgiving dinner. Well, it, it'll be a group effort. The table is set already. The house is tidy already. Um, I've got a couple of childproofing things to do. And then uh, your video. So tonight I have, well, one, let me show you. It's cold in my house. So I have this little heat warmer. It massages as well. It's time to break it out because it's cold. I've changed my chair decor to my crochet blankie. And your unfinished object for tonight is socks. Remember how I said I was going to go find David's ruined socks that I need to darn? Well, here they are, right through the heels. So uh, we're going to figure out together how to fix these tonight. Um, I don't know. I've got darners, but they're more eggy. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to go get my darner and we're going to try it in there and see if that helps. Uh, I've got lots of raw edges, so I think this might be another situation to pick up stitches. It's the bottom triangle on the heel on both socks. He's a very predictable wearer outer. So I think that's something for future if I ever make him another pair of socks to really reinforce that bottom. The other thing I have to do tonight, remember these? I finished these last Christmas and I've done everything but hide the ends. So this will be a quickie for me. I get a pair of socks. I will fix David's pairs of socks. We'll proceed. Okay, I've stuck in and I found another hole. This is right at the top of his shoe where on the back of his heel and then of course we have the bottom of the heel. I'm going to start with this one because this one honestly is easier for me. Mm -hmm. I've picked up stitches again right along here. I used a crochet hook because this was a bit of a arse. Um, I am using the same yarn from the socks I just finished so that'll be handy. I'm going to knit a patch and then sew it around just like I did on my last sock and then I may do the very same thing here but I'm not sure. I've kind of a little piece of me wants to just re-knit the whole heel, but I don't know. I gotta think about this one a little bit. But this one I can handle, so I'm gonna knit it first. And I may need to do a matching one on the other sock. It looks okay, but we'll see. Okay, so I picked up stitches with the crochet hook and joined in here and then did this strip. It's 15 rows and um, um, I believe it's, I'm gonna have to count them, two, four, six, I think eight across, even though it may be six. And that will just fill this hole. And now I've moved down here, and I tried picking up stitches a different way. I've just gone through every other stitch. And I'll see if I can get that close up for you, if you see that. I've just picked up every other single stitch, and then I'm going to graft in the same yarn, and I'm gonna knit a triangle, and hope that that will solve this sock issue and I will join the triangle in right up there. So this should form a wide triangle. I'm hoping that if I decrease one on either side and then stitch that on, I'll be able to patch the heel. We'll see. All right, so now I have two flaps. I have a flap for the heel or the back of the leg, and then I've made a triangular flap. I really like this picking up stitches and just making a flap. I'll have to find out from David when it's done, if it's comfortable. But I'm now going to anchor that to replicate this piece right here that comes to a point. Uh, let's see if I can make it easier for you to see. So I've now made a triangle that is that wedge right where my finger is. And hopefully that'll work. And I'll fix these with one sock. All right. So I've anchored this. And I did some reinforcing here because this was thinner than I thought. I should have made this wider, probably all the way across the heel. But I think the reinforcing will help. I just did an in and out through the knitting and then I went across through the knitting. So standard woven uh, method. And you can see some of those underneath the blue with the knitted one next door. And then the heel, here's my triangle flap. And I've pinned it in place to sort of secure those edges because they're... When you wore them out, they, they fray, as you can see in this one. And so it's all flayed open and you don't know how it's supposed to fit, fit his foot. But I'm just kind of modeling it after my sock that I just finished. So I did the triangle heel flap and I'm pinning it in and drawing in those loose threads, hopefully securing them. 
I may also have to do some reinforcing around that edge too, but we'll see when I'm done. All right, I've got the triangle on. I've got a little piece to trim off there. But next is the inside. We have to deal with the insides of this thing. So on the inside, I just sort of stitched around like a whip stitch around the opening, catching any loops. I trimmed a little bit, but not too much. Like I kind of wanted it double thick right where the heel rubs. Trying to catch it all. That was a much easier job here on the upper portion where it wasn't as bad than what it was where he blew out the heel. Um, I'll let you know, this does not look super comfortable, but I did try it on and it doesn't feel too bad. Okay, from Holy Socks, with an added thing on the heel, you can see that it's sort of see-through there, even though this one I just have to reinforce. But from a Holy Sock to a Darn Sock, I've got this here and I've got the heel. Now, this has got a little lumpy bumpy here, so we're going to have to see if he, that drives him crazy. It definitely, definitely will not come thread become threadbare again, but I have reinforced it, and I've also learned something. This is the first pair of socks I've ever made for David. Um, he, I was testing his sock worthiness, and he passed. He wore them for a good three years, carefully taking care of them. And so this time I will make him another pair. I need to get some more yarn and uh, fix them. It's good to know. It's good to know that they fit my feet too. <laughs> hmm. We can share socks. But um, repairs and I'm going to reinforce in these two spots next time. Okay, that's it for me tonight. I hope you enjoyed that and learned something from the sock darning adventure. It's number take two. Um... Hopefully David will like him. I'll report back. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, leave, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Let me know about your sock darning adventures. Do you have a specific darn you like? I seem to be really affiliated with the knitted patch right now. I'll have to try some more of the woven darns in my future. Um, I'll see you either Monday or Thursday. I don't know which, but I can tell you that we're probably going to be slowing down on unfinished objects as December comes into focus. Over to Twisted Pico, I'll be, I have, uh, usually do Advent every year and I'm going to maybe try it this year. I've made some brainstorm lists. So I may be doing a video a day over at a Twisted Pico, which means this channel will be on a little bit of a pause. No more than once a week. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye.